Today we're trying to get our message across to those people who are coming in to set up the CNE that the city is trying to contract out our work and has locked us out currently. Uh, we've been noticing that they've been bringing in a lot of work today, workers today from uh, Quebec and there's a large contingent now that they've flown in from uh, Alberta to do our work to set up the CNE this year. We'd like to get back to the table, we'd like the city uh, to come back into the table and we're willing to negotiate at any time of the day uh, as long as they're willing to take off the table the uh, attack on workers' rights that they're trying to do right now. This is impacting huge because a lot of our members, you know, the CNE is what they plan their summers around working on and it's been uh, ripped away from them because, they, this, because of this lockout. So there's many of our members who schedule their lives to work on the CNE and uh, now that money is no longer in their hands and their families aren't getting that food on their table. Dozens of people who are in here doing the work that local people, local Torontonians should be doing uh, at this work, work that local 58 members have been doing since World War II down on these grounds. And now they've decided to bring in labor from outside of the province to replace it. So we're giving away Toronto jobs to other people. That, that's not what the city council should be fighting for. That's not what the mayor of Toronto should be fighting for. At the outset, I want to take a moment to address the ongoing labor situation between Exhibition Place and IATSE 58. IATSE has been locked out by our landlord, Exhibition Place, not by the Canadian National Exhibition Association. The CNE is not party to this labor dispute. However, we have actively engaged with both parties and we will continue to engage them to return to the bargaining table to avoid any disruptions that could impact our great end of year, end of summer celebration.